Hi guys, today I'm doing kind of a different kind of video than what I normally do. Um, so I'm going to be doing like what I think of kind of like a review type thing. So yeah, um, and it's going to be about e.l.f. products. So yeah, and one more thing before I start, I got my nails did. I can't really see it, but um, they're green, French tips, but because the light is like really crappy. <laughs> it's like blue for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because the sun is shining in here and it's cloudy outside, so whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna far start off. Fart? What? I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off with the first thing that I ever got from e.l.f., which was this eyeshadow brush. And I actually really like this brush. Like, I've had this brush for like three years maybe so it's just kind of like a rounded brush and it's kind of flat and it's really good for packing eyeshadows on to get a more intense color and just make it look a lot better my hair looks like crap but anyways so it packs it on and gives it nice intense color which I really like so, and it's also pretty soft, like, it's really soft. Um, so yeah, really good brush. And these are seriously only a dollar. You can buy them at Target, you can buy them online. And one other place that I know that sells them is Dollar General. At least my Dollar General does, or, I don't know if they do anymore, but that's where I got mine, is from Dollar General. But I know you can buy them at Target for the same price, so, a dollar, seriously. It's awesome. The second thing that I ever got from e.l.f., this is actually a gift from my mom for my birthday one year, and it's it's broken. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's this uh, 32 color palette, I think. And as you can see, there's a couple of colors that I've used quite a lot. So I've used like almost all of the white, and then this pink pink right here sorry and then this green and these two silvers and then this black so I've used quite a lot and I've also used this blue a lot but it just hasn't gone through the metal yet um but yeah I really like this palette because it's so ah, it's so versatile because you got all these neutral colors up here, like browns and peaches and light pinks and bronzes and kind of like reddy browns and stuff. And then in the middle you've got this bright strip of colors. There's pinks and purples and two greens and two blues. I really like this bright blue and this bright green. So. Yeah, some of these colors are not as pigmented as they look. Like, these two pinks are not very pigmented. So, not as pigmented as I would like. But, and these purples are, like, super non-pigmented. There's, like, no pigment there. It's showing up brighter on the camera than it really is. But, yeah. But the blue... Oh my gosh, I would kill myself if that blue was not as bright as it looked, but it is, seriously, just as bright as it looks. So I'll swatch that. Super bright, and it's pretty true to color. It doesn't look like it on camera, but it really is. So, and the green, this lighter green right here is pretty bright too. You really cannot see that because of how crappy this light is, but it's a really pretty color. Um, and then on the bottom you have like silvers and grays and then blacks, and I think that these are really good for like smoky eyes and they're just really good. And most of them are pretty pigmented, so... Some of them are not as pigmented as others, but they're all pretty pigmented, so there's all the grays, except for that one. Alright, 
The silvers are pretty pigmented too, but they're not as pigmented as the grays and the blacks. So, one second. I think my favorite gray would have to be this one because it's got a little bit of a green tint to it so it's kind of like an army green and these two right here have gold shimmer in them and this one right here has silver shimmers so yeah and then this strip up here has like peaches and some bronzy colors so really pretty colors in this palette so um, I, my mom bought this offline on the e.l.f. website, um, I think it's like $10 or something like that, which is pretty good for 32 colors. They're all not super pigmented, but, um, they're, most of them are pretty pigmented, but there's some of them that you have to really scrub your brush in there to get any pigment out of it. But yeah. Okay. The next thing that I got was this e.l.f. eyelid primer. One sec. Sorry about that. My mom was calling me and I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> so the e.l.f. eyelid primer I find is really good. Like, it's really cheap. It, this is seriously a dollar. Um, so it's kind of like a skin tone color when you first put it on, but it blends out clear. So it blends and it's really good like it lasts it helps your eyeshadow to stay on for a really long time like <clears throat> for such a cheap product it's really good I can't really tell you whether it's better or worse than the Urban Decay Primer Potion because I don't have it and I've never tried it before though I really want to and I've never tried the shadow insurance or anything like that this is seriously the only primer besides the one, the one that came with um, my NYC palette that I've ever had. So, but as far as I know, this works really well. And from what I've heard from some of the other beauty gurus on YouTube, this is a really good primer. And they've compared it to other primers and say it's almost as good. And it's also really cheap, so it's really worth buying. So. Yeah. Alright. Oh. The last two products that I have are these e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whips. Um, this is kind of like a love-hate product. I just barely got this yester these yesterday through the mail, and I got them off Target online, on the Target website. But um, from what I've experienced so far... I think they're really good. Like, I've heard some people say, oh, I don't like them because they're way too shimmery for me, and blah, blah, blah. It really just depends on taste, I think. So, if you don't like super shimmery products, I would not go for these. But if you're one of those people that really likes shimmery products, these are really good. I personally really like shimmery products. Another thing that people say that is wrong with them is sometimes they're really watery, and I don't know if that's just like a glitch or something, but mine are not watery. They, they're not like super watery. They don't have that weird swishing sound that some people get. So seriously, a tiny, tiny, tiny dot goes a really, really, really long way. So as you can see, that's a really tiny dot. It's like a size, about the size of a grain of rice. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really shimmery. One thing I did notice about them, though, that I don't like is the smell. They smell nasty. Like, I don't like the smell at all. They just don't smell good. They smell really gross. So, that's one downside for me. But, yeah. So, I have two of them. And... They only had two colors. I don't know if there is only two colors ever, or if there's more, or if this is just all the Target carries. 
I have no idea, but these are the only two colors that were on the Target website, so that's what I got. So this one is called Lilac Petal, and it's kind of like a pinky color, but it's really sheer on the skin. Oops. And this one is a bit more pigmented, and it's called Toasted, and it's kind of like a bronzy brown kind of color. And I think this one is really pretty. The one that I already swatched was Lilac Shimmer. Oops. Okay, it is a little bit watery. It's not like super watery, but I accidentally swatched a little bit too much. But the brown one is actually really pigmented. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's just because I swatched too much. But as you can see, it's like really dark. I'll try to do a little smaller blob and see if it's really that pigmented. Alright, so that's a smaller dot. It doesn't look like it, but it is. It's just because it's spread out. Okay, it's not as pigmented when it's a smaller dot, but as you can see, it's still pretty brown. Personally, right now, I think these are pretty good, but it's only the second day that I've had them, so I can't really say anything. But as far as all the other products that I have, like the palette, the brush, and the primer, I can say that... I like all the other products. Oh, I have one more thing. Ow. I also have this lip gloss from them. This is called a Super Glossy Lip Shine. It has SPF 15. And it's like this red color. I don't think it has a name. Nope, it doesn't. Alright, so it doesn't have a name, but it's like this red, kind of clearish red color. But... I love the color, and I love how it looks on the lips. I'll just put some on for you. When you put it on, when you put it on the brush, it, whoops, that was a little bit too much, but when you put it on the brush, it actually looks more orange. So as you can see, it's pretty sheer, but there's still a little bit of color. and it smells really fruity. Personally, I don't really like the taste of it. The smell doesn't bother me too much, but yeah. So, as you can see, it's kind of got a sheer color. Um, one thing I do not like about this lip gloss is it is a very thick sticky lip gloss. So if you don't like sticky thick glosses this probably would not be the one for you and you can definitely feel it when it's on your lips. That is it for my elf review type thing. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Time